The next important step in this process is guide placement. I'm gonna set this guide at one quarter of an inch. Okay, now, for a 20 degree cut, you wanna do one quarter of an inch. For a 15 degree, you wanna do a half inch. And if you're gonna do a 10 degree cut, which is a really thin cut, you wanna go about a about an inch, three quarters of an inch. It's gonna vary. This right here determines the final thickness of your blade. So you wanna go at least, you don't wanna cut it any less than a quarter of an inch because you start to run into problems. So we're gonna leave it at a quarter of an inch. And again, our saws unplugged while we're doing this for safety reasons. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a test piece just to show you how that cut's gonna look. So at a 20 degree cut, this is what our blade's gonna look like. What we're gonna do is cut the wood. You wanna make sure you keep that two by four as flush against the stock as possible. I suggest you use a push stick because you don't wanna get your fingers anywhere near the blade. It's better to let a piece of wood just become a scrap piece if you mess up than to risk losing any of these. You can always buy another piece of wood so here we go.
Okay. You did everything right. You should have a piece of wood that's got what's really cut up like that. And if you notice, your stop points are going to be exactly in the same spot at the opposite end on both sides. You should have this nice little peak right there. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get a close up for you. It should look something like that where you have you're just barely past your line and it's going to be it's going to be mirrored down on this side. So all four sides should look something like this. As long as you stay tight to the guide, you're not going to have any problems. It's important to remember when you do this that you want the blade to come just short of this. You don't want to cut into this because this is this squeezes together and becomes too short. So that's going to throw your second cut off. This right here is what pushes against your stock. This section right here, it pushes against your guide and it keeps your blade perfect on each side. If you were to cut too far into this, the way the wood that you remove is going to shorten this blade so your second side is going to be shorter than your first side. So it's important to just follow those measurements that I gave you and always leave a little bit over here. It's going to give you a nice nice thick blade at the end. You can sand it down later if you want to make it nice and sharp. All right, we're over at the miter saw and this is a part that can be a little tricky because you have to take this cut right here and line it up with this cut over here. It's, um, well, this is important because this is going to determine how pretty that edge is that leads into the hub. The cleaner you do it here, the less sanding you're going to have to do in the end and the less working you're going to have to do balancing. So what I like to do is take a ruler and go to the very point that we had talked about and you want to just eyeball it. You want to actually go short. The cut that ends up here I'm just going to scribble a line down. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point. So we're going to want to we're going to want to cut something along this lines here. We're going to want to do a cut like that. So we're going to set the miter saw. You can get exact with it. Once you do this once, I usually do the first cut as a rough cut. And what I have here is a piece of wood. It, it's actually two pieces. So these pieces of wood right here are two and three quarters depth that we're using as our blocking guide. You want to line your wood up. Now this angle here is going to be pretty close to 45 degrees. So set your miter saw over here to 45. What we're going to do is we're going to take our first cuts into all of these at 45. So we're going to get our saw plugged in. 